Um, well, there's this restaurant that I went to in Toronto and they wouldn't say like we're, you know, anti-meat, but right. we're just pro-vegetarian. And the reasons that we were talking about earlier, you were telling me, can you explain that to the viewers? Like the three reasons and now there's a fourth reason. Yeah, so when people ask me why I, I decided to go vegetarian, well actually I still eat some seafood, so yep. not 100%. So. Which is pescatarian, yeah. right? Right. Okay. Uh, but, but for me, I, I do believe in the vegetarian diet for yeah. three reasons, which are, um, Health, I mean, that's like a, but for me, health is the least important. Yeah. Because it's just for us, right? But uh, the bigger picture is, well, next is animals, the animal cruelty and all that. If, if we saw how, how they kill animals, we couldn't, right? We couldn't yeah. do it ourselves, but then yet we eat it, so. Yeah. And then when we're kids. Or how they even raise the animals, right? right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's just so, it's a cruel world, right? Yeah. And, and now I'm beginning to see meat like that when I see, I pass by grocery. Right, yeah. Like, what have we done? Yeah. Since... <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that. I mean, I'm sorry, but, but okay, meat section, right? Yeah. I always look, yeah, interesting and steaks that are marinated, but now I see this, uh, what humans have done to animals. Yeah. So what did we do? We, we've like glamorized it, made it like packaged it and all that to make it acceptable. Yes. But actually, you know, you couldn't go to a farm and then have them see a cow. I have to see a cow getting chopped up and then like here. Yeah. You know? It's it's because I think we've also distanced ourselves to the yeah, meat. That's why been, we yeah, and that's why we don't say it's it's weird, pig, we say it's pork. A successful disconnect. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because when yeah. you were kids, you know, I remember playing and I didn't want these quails killed and found yeah. out they were gonna be our lunch and we were like ah, crying. Yeah. We still we were still connected, right? Yeah. yeah and the right. third reason for me would be the biggest, because uh, our planet cannot survive with it this way, right? With the meat industry and um, so the environment, right? It's the meat industry is producing so much um, greenhouse gases. Mm -hmm. uh, they're taking up a lot of land which could be used to feed people instead they're feeding animals, yeah. right? All this land that could be used to yeah. feed the world is feeding animals. Yeah, that's uh, true. And, and then all the, the water, you know, um, they say, I don't know the exact numbers, but to produce a kilo of beef, yeah. you use up, like, something like 4,000 gallons of water. And yeah. then, so and it's, people just can not, it's just not sustainable. Yeah. Like, I, I still eat my meat, but there yeah. are my, I have my reasons, too. It's more too. conscious. Yeah, 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 just more conscious choices. Right. Um, and, you know, if the world agreed to everything, right. then the world would be very bland. There, there would yeah. be Democrats or Republicans, right. everyone have the same thing. Yeah. So, we have to accept that some people just... Yeah, of course, they'll never give up. Yes, them. yes, but I have made the conscious effort to, yeah. to choose to eat meat. At the okay. same time, um, go like meatless Mondays and right. this and that, like, good, like yeah. let's say um, industrial farming, right? Yeah. And, but what I'm saying here is yeah. to the viewers, it's like, yeah, you can definitely go vegetarian and right. I agree with that. But at the same yeah. time, um, there are smarter ways of right. eating meat. Yeah, of course. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, which may not be affordable though, so. Yes, so that's a fourth wants, reason, right? Yeah. 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 You wanted to it's talk more about. economical. Yeah. Yeah. So there's and a new meatonomics. article, Meatonomics, yeah, by a guy from The Guardian, which says there's a fourth reason to go vegetarian. Um, economics of things. So I think why this vegetarian restaurant works, um, because people, I mean, humility aside, people yep. have tried to set up vegetarian restaurants before and didn't work. Um, I think they were either too early for the time and all that, but yep. I think why my food works is because I'm basically inside, I'm really a meat eater. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because I, we all grew up eating meat and I still kind of crave it. Which is, that's why it's, it's very mean when, when meat eaters make fun of vegetarians. <laughs> say bacon and whatever. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's, it, it's a choice. We've made a choice, right? It's not like, oh, we hate bacon now. I mean, yeah. for, some do. But I still like, wow, oh, that smells good, yeah. right? And I've just made a, a, a moral choice to, to not eat meat. Yeah. It's, it's not an easy choice. Yeah. But I think what, what, what I've done is that um, I've, I've made a shift in my thinking and, and, and actually now I see the dead animal yeah. and, and cruelty and all that yep. and whatever. But also why my food's good is because I thought if I'm going to give up meat, it better be good, right? Yes. Because, uh, <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, and I'm not going to use the excuse that, uh, oh, I want to go vegetarian, but you know, it's so hard. Yeah. And, 
you know, no, it's not. Don't cook me. Um, this is one of our best sellers, uh, Arroz a la Cubana. Because I wanted an Arroz a la Cubana, right? So I'm dying to eat that. I haven't eaten that in years. So we had, we had a, it was challenging to get the consistency of the tofu like that. Because mm -hmm. it's hard, because tofu is usually mushy so, and tasteless yeah. and whatever. But we figured a way. So that's our secret. Cool. Um, mm -hmm. And then, you know, still with the fried bananas, fried um, eggs and all that, but with red rice. And then this is a Japanese seaweed salad, which is really good and healthy. Um, seaweed's one of the super foods. Um, and then um, this is our super best seller, the, the dumplings, the veg dumplings. Uh, it goes really well with the, this sauce. What's that sauce there? It's, it's a mixture. This one here? Here, this, yeah. And this salad. one here is for the salad? That's the salad dressing. Okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna give okay. this a try. Um, now, do you have anything that you wanna say about, so I have friends that are vegetarians, um, they're yogis, and they, yeah. then now they work out too. Um, yeah. There is that shift in consciousness. And just to keep it clear out there to the people, um, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm pro-choice. I mean, mm. you can yeah. choose whatever you want as right. long as you have an educated decision and yeah. you've, you've, you know, made the conscious effort. Right. Um, what about working out? So I get this a lot and I know that you can yeah. get enough protein, protein exactly yeah. for people well, that go to protein, gym. protein, 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 yep. you know. <laughs> yeah. So people, all of a sudden they're, in, they're interested in health and, and they're experts in protein, right? People are like, where do you get your protein? Yeah. Right? So yeah. there's a lot of memes about that yes. because it's annoying. <laughs> Yeah, so that's true. No, that's that true. Out. Yeah. So, um, yeah. There's so many good sources of protein. Yeah. For them, it's just they have this thing that you don't eat good food anymore. Yeah. 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 So, no, I agree. So it's just about education, and this is hopefully right. what I can deliver with the vlog. We yeah. made with me and my sister here. So, um, dumplings. We start with the yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, do you mind telling us what's in here? Yeah, so there's spinach in there, and there's mushrooms, and there's, just the, and there's just the, the crunchy. To me, there's all kinds of crunchy in there. Bacon! <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. I can definitely taste the mushroom here, so yeah. the mushroom's like the mock meat, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, that's like the meat taste meat. But okay. then it's a crunchy crunch pork, yeah. yeah. Um, kind of crunchy. Um, it's sinkamas. Or sinkamas. Sinkamas, yeah. 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 Right, yeah, the sauce is actually sauce from a pork show, my recipe. It's still better than I. Yeah. But this is my favorite. Some people say better than everything. Really? Yeah. 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 No, see, no, no, see the, the whole point of this restaurant is there, Vegetarian 101. We're not vegan, so the vegans kind of are annoyed at me, you know? What? No, because like, I know the arguments, right? Yeah, yeah. So why do you still sell vegetarian, I mean, like egg and all that, right? Damage control. It's, for me, it's because um, Madonna isn't ready. I mean, you yeah. know. Yeah, no, I agree, I agree. Yeah. I want they, to they need to get not. a foot in the door at first. So I, 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 I call myself Vegetarian 101, right? Yeah. This is like, Trying to have a meal without meat. No. For vegan restaurants, that's not me. Someone else's job. Yeah. To, you know. I mean, there are vegan restaurants actually. Yeah. Um, but you know, my thing yes. was to make food people enjoy their meal on the, you know, and say, wow. You, this is made in house. Yeah. Okay. Actually, it's made in my mom's house. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is my sister's recipe. She lives in London. Okay. It's actually her seventh. Her daughter, when she was seven, taught me how to do it. I mean, it's not that weird. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Half, half. The thing is, um, no, no, half. I'll share it. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, all right. It's, it's all like French chocolate. It's like real chocolate. Real ingredients. Yeah, yeah, not like those we don't use, yeah, we don't use cheese. That is the salted caramel chocolate pork. Salted caramel chocolate pork. Right? Yeah. 
that was about in 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, if you're in Manila or, or in Makati, come over to Corner Chain Cafe and check out our food. Because a lot of people who come here are, are just surprised, yeah. possibly shocked that, um, like, hey, I can eat this food, you know? Yeah. Because the, in their minds, vegetarian food is boring, yeah. you know, whatever.